Hello everyone, welcome to soundproofguide.com. Now in this video, I'll be doing something a little bit different. I'll be answering a few of your questions that you leave in the comment section. And if this video actually is a little bit of a success, I'll keep doing it and you'll keep sending questions and I'll do my best to answer the most popular ones or the ones that I would find that would be of greater help to a lot of people. Because a lot of the questions, they do typically repeat themselves and I do get a lot of comments and I try to get to all the comments, but of course, if you get a lot of comments, it's kind of hard to always get to them. So I'll do my best in answering them individually, but also leaving some comments in these types of videos that I can answer the question so everybody can know the answer. So let's begin. So the first question I have is, hey man, I live on the top floor of a building and I'm dealing with the AC noise coming from the roof. How can I soundproof my place to make the place more quiet to sleep at night? I have looked at a lot of places already. Please help. Now this type of noise is not really uncommon because a lot of people deal with an outside noise that is kind of like an AC. It can be an AC that is on a roof or it can be an AC that is just your own AC and it's just in the yard and when it comes on you can hear it quite well if you have poor insulation or if the windows are quite they're just single pane then of course a lot more noise is going to come in. Now this person the noise is coming from the roof and he's on the top floor. So by reading the comment, looks like they are living in an apartment. So if you live in an apartment, of course, it's a lot more difficult to do any type of soundproofing because you're kind of limited to things that is not permanent. So if you're dealing with something that you would need to soundproof the ceiling, then it might be a little bit more difficult. So there's two ways of going about this really. If it's just the air conditioning noise, which would just be airborne noise, then you might just want to soundproof the windows that are the closest to where the source of the noise is emanating from. Since you live in an apartment, is from what I understand, or a unit, it's a little bit more difficult to actually do anything construction wise to the roof to stop the noise from coming down. But if you have a window quite close, then you might be surprised at how much noise is actually coming through from the window and not exactly from the ceiling. So first I would really look at soundproofing the window if you're unsure of how to go about it. Video right up here, different ways on how to soundproof a window, but really in an apartment, since you can't really do much, you can't really change the window and place a double or triple pane window, then you're limited to maybe adding some sound absorbing curtains. Now these types of soundproofing methods are not the best. They're mostly for sound deadening, but the thickness of these curtains will block a little bit of the sound. The problem is, is the way you install them. Curtains will leave a gap between where the curtain is and where the window and the window frame So the thing is there's a gap and it will let noise through So for maximum effectiveness for these types of curtains or if you just want to use a moving blanket is to add Industrial velcro now you'll have to sew one side of the velcro on the material which would be your curtain or your blanket because the self-adhesive will not stick on the material. And then the other side, you just stick it on the window frame and you're good to go. Basically, when your curtains are closed, you can seal them up by just Velcroing all sides. And by doing this, you're creating a better seal, but you can go a step further and you can actually build a window plug. And I will have a video on exactly how to build a DIY window plug that works quite well in a video coming in about four, five, six weeks from now. So make sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when that video comes out because it is quite simple to build these types of plugs. And really you can almost, you can almost piggyback on a DIY video that I made a couple of months ago on how to build, uh, acoustic panels video right up there and a window plug is built 
a lot in the same way as the acoustic panels but it will just be a little bit different and I'll be adding a little bit more to it of course to make it more soundproof and not for something that you put on the wall for sound deadening. So make sure to stick around for that video. Now if you're able to make a little bit of modifications to the unit if you actually own it, if, if it's a condo and you can actually do a little bit of construction and basically that's the only way that you would be able to, to stop impact noise. Now if the reason for the noise is not the noise that the air conditioner is generating but the vibration that it's actually emitting that can turn into impact noise and the only way really to stop impact noise is to decouple the ceiling and well the only way to do that is to completely rip out the ceiling and add a resilient channel if you don't really know what a resilient channel is and then after that you just add a layer of 5 8 inch drywall and it's always good to add two layers of drywall because you'll have a better soundproofing because of course more mass and if you're already ripping the ceiling out if you're already going through all that trouble it's probably safe to say that it's good to add a second layer of drywall it won't cost that much more money and it's really really effective in soundproofing because you are adding that much more mass and since the decoupling is what will basically eliminate the impact noise the second layer of drywall will eliminate a lot of the airborne noise that the air conditioner is creating and if you're looking for a few more ways on how to soundproof a ceiling a video right up here will show you different ways on how to do just that so there you have it hopefully you enjoyed this type of question answer video and if you did leave your own question in the comment section below of a question that hopefully maybe i'll turn into a video in the future and if you enjoy this type of content in general click the subscribe button and click the bell and that will notify you of any future videos don't forget to click the like like i'm sure every youtuber says it really helps because it's not only to receive the likes it also sends a signal to youtube and google because it's the same and it helps a uh, small con feel free to take a look at many of our other youtube videos and also some of our articles on our website soundproofguide.com don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this video and also consider subscribing to our channel if you like our content. Also feel free to leave us a comment below if you have any soundproofing questions of your own. We will certainly try our very best to help you. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video or any other videos in our channel. Thank you very much.